let's finish off our payments flow. Nice work, by the way, for getting this far in this module. I know the last video was a big one. This one, we don't have as much to do. So great news there. So what we want to do is we want to go ahead and grab this payments page and just do a copy paste and then hide everything except for the one that says copy. And then we'll call this uh, group payment success. And we'll go ahead and zero that out, zero, zero. And then we'll just, you know, start deleting all a bunch of stuff here. Uh, basically, yeah, everything except for this. So we've got a piece of text. We've got this thing, we'll just say success. And then uh, here, what do we got? Um, 33. We'll just go all the way down to here to 40, 140, let's see, yeah, okay. And then for this text here, I've just got some text here to copy. And we're just going to paste this in here. I clear that expression out and paste that. Okay, so thank you for subscription. You can say whatever you want here, obviously. Please navigate back to the app where you have full access to all classes. You can manage your subscription anytime through the link in your profile page which we'll build later on so that's it um, we can now add this as a step to show this element and group payment success so why not why not uh, go ahead and test this let's see it in action and then with that confirmed oh yeah that's a great thing to notice that we do not want this to show on page load we don't really want any conditionals, we'll just use the workflow to handle that. But basically, if I click that, processing payment, uh, we still have the case, oh yeah, that was silly, because we still have the case where it's not gonna work. But basically, okay, so here's the thing, when you're doing testing, start with four, and then just do four, two, four, two, four, two, and in the development world of Stripe, it just knows to accept that as a valid card. So, and we're gonna say uh, first uh, test, and last test, and then let's go ahead and get full access. So we can see it is showing our process payment loading thing, and it's communicating with Stripe. The real thing that's happening, this is just a user interface thing. The real thing is this loading bar actually is going out, talking with Stripe servers. Okay, success. So we can see your subscription is created. Now, let's go back to our Stripe dashboard. Let's actually look at our customers. So here it is. So we got first this first test, last test, this yoga test for the person, we can see that uh, they had this payment method, which is what they would have filled out there, right? Um, on, well, <laughs> that card thing. And we can see that there's a sub successful subscription created. Okay, and it succeeded, the payment is complete. Which uh, I wanna point out that in the last video, we left something off for this trial date. I'm gonna, now I'm gonna go and return to this and I'm gonna say current date and then I'm gonna put uh, the number of days and then add 14 here, just so we can see a difference. So, uh, you know, this payment succeeded because it charged the payment right away, which uh, is what I just wanted to show off, that basically we've got this thing working. So now if you head over to more and subscriptions, you'll wanna check this, you'll really do. You wanna test, verify that this, is, that this is what's happening in your Stripe dashboard, because your Stripe dashboard determines this is real life stuff of if you're getting paid or not, you know, into your bank account. Uh, important details right so okay so this uh, what I just did is I navigated over here to subscriptions and then we can see that yeah we have the subscription is active uh, nothing that is scheduled just an active one that we just created with this person this customer and their billing method is the default one which uh, is that card and they are charged to this at uh, $20 a month so cool uh, all right Let's go ahead, let's actually run that one more time. And we're gonna take a look at same thing. Uh, we're gonna update their name. So I'm gonna just call this one uh, John Doe. And what we should see as a difference now, I refresh this uh, dashboard page with our customers. Here's John Doe with this yoga test. Their card is here. 
their trial ends on uh, December 15th, 14 days from you know the day this is being recorded. The let's see, um, if we head on over to the subscriptions area, we can see. Yeah, okay. So our current subscription, we have this person is subscribed on a trial. Their current period is until December 15th, and then um, they will be charged this amount in 13 days from now. Or, well, I don't, you know, they must time their counter somehow. But, anyways, uh, what we got then is this invoice uh, basically it created a zero one just to show that it could charge their card. Uh, but yeah, that's what's uh, that's what's happening when you create just a kind of a look behind the scenes. I know not not super, uh, you know, um, directional in terms of us making progress, but something good to just know about that um, this setting on this Stripe create thing. This is where you set your trial, and you know back over here under products, under this, this is where you set your price. If you ever wanted to, uh, let's see, edit it. Oh, it looks like you can't edit it after you've created it. You'd have to, um, so you can only edit the description link because the price is used in a transaction. Okay, so it's like an already active thing. Okay, so, uh, but let's move on with our story to uh, handle things when things don't go right, when they have perhaps a payment that, um, like a credit card that, that just doesn't go through. So, we're gonna call this one group uh, fail payment. And we're just gonna say, you can say whatever you want. I'm just gonna say, uh-oh. And then I'm gonna change this icon to just like an exclamation thing. And I'm gonna bring that up a little bit. And then we're here on our success page. I'm just gonna grab this and pull that out here so I can access it and let's go ahead and just uh, bring it down small put it on to what are we trying to do this one I uh, know we don't want that one we'll just want like a button that says close so what do we want to say here um, there was an issue processing your payment. Oh, there's an issue processing your card, let's say. Please try again. And then let's go ahead and make that one like that. Say we'll make it size 12. Bring that down a little bit. And center this horizontally. And then let's get a button on here. This button we're just going to say close. I'm going to grab this same gray color from here and drop it into this background for this button. Remove the styling to do that. And so we got a close button now. It's a little big, it seems like, but. All right. Keep it with our design of Leto. And. Okay, looking good. Just double check, everything is centered horizontally. I don't think I really want this one to be fixed with. Well, it's gonna, has a max of 100, that's fine. Um, make that one fixed with as well. Okay. So, uh, what needs to happen here? When this button, we're gonna close it, all we're gonna do here is we're just gonna hide this group because we want the person to return to uh, the page that I'll call this bill payment. That's more clear. Okay. Uh, so over here on this, if if so, if they if they fill out the card and then they click the button to you know uh, start off the payment process, and then Stripe is like, no, nah, that that's not a good card. Like, didn't work for us. Uh, what do we want to have happen? Well, we want to show the group failed payment. And let's go ahead and hide because if it gets kicked off here, the show group payment processing will hide that element of the processing one here. Okay, so let's go and purposefully 
put in a wrong payment and we'll see that we're doing good. So the user could be typing something in. Now Stripe has its own kind of like validation, uh, visual validation. It's actually, it's only visual. Like you could still punch this in and that's why we've created our own UI to handle this extra case, right? So uh, with this showing up, basically we can see, okay, the person can't get past this and they get this nice notification about, let's see, I'm gonna just make that fix with. They get this nice notification about not being able to, uh, you know, Hmm, that's interesting, it's completely empty. Uh, let's see. Well, let's go back to our story here of this. So perfect. We've got this nice thing that tells people that their payment has failed. And then I'll address the, you know, scenario where if they don't fill in anything at all and hit this button, we'll address that in a later video. Oh, nope. It actually must have been just something. I'm gonna refresh the page one more time. So if they have not entered in anything at all and they try and hit this button. We just say that that shows up. Okay, so uh, the only thing left for us to do is create another page where someone could cancel their subscription and then basically, you know, your users will be able to self-service all of their subscription needs and anything that they need to do uh, within your app.